Hey there. In this video, I want to discuss six different time management practices that you can use within TickTick. You know, we often think of TickTick as a task management system, which it is, but I think by using some of these tried and true time management practices and some of the built-in functionality that TickTick offers, you'll find that you can actually use TickTick to help manage your time. And so that's what we're gonna investigate in this video. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. So the first time management practice we're gonna look at is Eat That Frog. And this comes from a book by the same name. And the idea behind Eat That Frog is that you take your most difficult and complex task that you absolutely wanna get done for that day and you put it right at the beginning of your day. So that way, hopefully, you have the most time, energy, and focus in order to get that big, complex task, difficult task done. Then after it's completed, the rest of your day should be fairly easy. So how can we use the eat that frog practice within Tick Tick? Well, let me open up my Tick Tick here and go to my work list. All right, so here's all the tasks that I need to get done for work. But let me pick one of them. And what I wanna do is set the priority flag. So up here in the upper right corner, I'm gonna make this a high priority. And the other thing I'm gonna do is change my work list. I'm gonna change the sort. So I'm gonna group by priority, and I'm gonna leave the sort by just as custom. And so by doing that, I now have separated that high priority task, my big, difficult, complex task that I wanna get done first thing in the morning. I've separated that one and it now sits up here in the high section. And all my other tasks are now down below here. So when I get ready to do my work, I'm absolutely gonna focus on this high priority task first. And that's the only thing I'm gonna focus on until I get it done. Once I get it done, then I'll come down here and take a look at some of these other tasks. But that's how you might use the eat that frog practice within Tick Tick. The second time management practice, Pomodoro. Now this one has a bit of a funny name, but I think if you put it into practice, you'll find it's a very powerful method. Um, the idea behind this one is that you work for a certain amount of time, a certain length of time. Uh, traditionally, that's 25 minutes and it's focused work, right? So you're not sitting down at your computer and then checking Instagram or checking Facebook or, or even checking email, which um, can be tricky, right? Because sometimes email is work, but when we're using Pomodoro, I would argue that don't even check email. That's not part of the focused work that you're working on for this. So you work for 25 minutes and then you reward yourself by getting a five minute break, you know, maybe stepping away from the computer for just a minute, going to the bathroom, get a drink, something like that. And then you come back and you do another 25 minutes. And then you do another five minute rest period and you do four cycles like that. All right, and after the fourth cycle, then you get a longer break, maybe 15 to 30 minutes, you know, go grab a bite to eat, maybe go for a walk, something like that. And then you come back and, and probably do another round of Pomodoro. But this method can really help people who struggle with distractions, right? Because you're shutting off all distractions while you're doing that focused work. So how do we do that within Tick Tick? Well, there is a Pomodoro timer here, also known as a focus timer. And if you don't know how to turn this on, you know, if it's not on in your system, you just come up here to your profile picture, settings, features, and down here is the Pomodoro timer. So mine is on. And if I go over here, it's a focus timer and it's set for 25 minutes. And so I can click the start button. This will start my Pomodoro timer. Once the 25 minutes is completed, Tick Tick will notify me. I'll take my five minute break and then I'll start a new focus timer. So you can either start it this way, which is kind of a generic focus timer. The other thing you can do, let me pause and end that one real quick, is go over to your task list and let's say make YouTube video something you want to focus on, you can right click, say start focus and start POMO. 
All right, now this starts a Pomodoro timer specifically to that task. So you can see the task name up here at the top, make YouTube video, and my timer is going, meaning I'm focused on making my YouTube video. And so you might wanna do that if you're interested in some of the stats. It's kinda of neat when you go back and you've used the Pomodoro timer on specific tasks. It really breaks it down in some of Tick Tick's uh, statistics. Third time management practice, the Eisenhower matrix. All right, so this is a way to quickly decide what you should be working on. So you go through a short exercise where you determine if your tasks are urgent or not urgent, and if they're important or not important. And by doing so, and laying them out on a piece of paper in four quadrants or within Tick Tick, like what we're gonna show, um, you can quickly see then maybe what tasks need the most priority right now and what you should be looking at to work on next. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Eisenhower matrix within Tick Tick. And again, this is another feature you can turn on in settings if it's not turned on. And I'm gonna click this Eisenhower matrix icon over here to the left. And here you see the four quadrants. So starting up in the upper left, we have urgent and important. Over to the right of that one is not urgent and important. Down in the lower left is urgent and unimportant. And the last one, the lower right, is not urgent and unimportant. So you can see right now, we just have one task up here in the urgent and important uh, quadrant. And the rest of our tasks are down here and marked not urgent and unimportant. And that's because none of them have a due date or a priority or anything like that. And that's kind of what Tick Tick looks at behind the scenes. But we don't need to know that because we can actually drag and drop from the screen to organize our tasks. So let's say make a YouTube video is not urgent, but it's important to us. So we can click on this task and drag it up to this quadrant. Review and file documents or paperwork as needed. Maybe that's urgent, but to us it's not that important. Let's put it over in the urgent and important quadrant. Walk the dog. Uh, dog is getting pretty excited and it's also important to us that we uh, exercise our dog. So let's put that up here in the urgent and important. And let's just spread a few more of these out like so. All right, so now let's say we've gone through all of our tasks. We've organized them in the different quadrants that we think they belong in. And now we can quickly see uh, by looking up in the upper left corner, probably the task that we need to focus on immediately because we've marked them as urgent and important. Um, but then after that, we need to decide if we wanna look at things that are urgent, but they're not important to us. You know, if they're urgent, we probably need to get them done, but they're also not important to us. So that's something to think about. Or the other option might be to look at things that are not urgent, but they are important to us. Just because things aren't urgent, doesn't mean that they're not important. And I think that's one of the benefits of using the Eisenhower matrix is that you can clearly see things that are not urgent, but they are important. And especially in today's world where we're constantly reacting to things and whatever's urgent seems to be the thing that we need to do immediately right now, uh, it's always good to keep in mind things that are important to us, but they're not urgent. The fourth time management practice is getting things done. And we're talking specifically about the two minute rule. So I made a video um, a few months back that kind of goes into detail of how you can use getting things done, the entire process uh, within Tick Tick. So if you like getting things done, you can go watch that video. But for this particular video where we're talking just specifically about time management practices, I'm gonna talk only about David Allen's two minute rule. And so what that rule is, is when you're processing your inbox and going through your different tasks, you ask yourself, Will this task take more than two minutes? And if the answer is no, and that task would likely take less than two minutes, you should just go do it, right? And that way you're not taking the time to file it away or to prioritize it or to do anything else with the task because it's literally gonna take less than two minutes anyways. And sometimes we get caught up in maintaining our task management system, right? And I'm guilty of this, I wanna make sure that everything's well organized in my task management system and I've got everything squared away and prioritized and organized. But there are some tasks that will literally take less than two minutes and for those tasks, we shouldn't do any of that. We should just go do them. And so how would we do that within Tick Tick? Well, over in our task list, if we are adding tasks to our inbox, oh, 
All right, so I've added some tasks to my inbox, and some of them are going to take longer than two minutes, right? To grocery shop is going to take longer than two minutes. Maybe even to make a grocery list is going to take longer than two minutes. But take out the trash. Um, I can likely do that in less than two minutes. Um, so what I should do is I should just go do that right now. I've added it to my inbox, but instead of, you know, putting a due date on it, prioritizing it, putting it in a different list, instead of doing any of that, I should just go do that right now and come back and then just check it off. So for the rest of these tasks that will take longer than two minutes, I should go ahead and process them like I normally would with any priorities or moving them to lists, so forth. But that is David Allen's two minute rule. The fourth time management practice is the pickle jar theory. So when you go to the grocery store and you pick up a jar of pickles, there's only a finite number of pickles in there. There's not, you know, a hundred pickles in there. There's not 200 pickles in there. There's not unlimited pickles in there. The idea here is that the same is true for the amount of things that we can get done in a day. Now, we don't always think that when we're making our to-do list, right? We think, oh, we can get this done. We got 10, 12, 20 tasks that we want to get done in a day or that we think we need to get done in a day. But in all honesty, we probably can't. We can probably only get done a finite number of tasks. And a while back, I made a video on Andy Frisella's power list, which is similar to this pickle jar theory. And he said he picks five tasks, five big tasks that he does for the day. And if he completes those tasks, well, then that is a W for the day. That's a win for the day. So same is true for the pickle jar theory. We're going to pick five tasks or whatever that number is for you. And we're going to carve them out and say, these are the tasks that we're going to complete today. So how do we do that within tick tick? Well, let me go to my work list. And these are all the work lists that I need to get done, but I likely don't have enough time, right? But maybe these top five tasks, the ones that have a priority assigned to them, maybe these are the ones that I'm gonna carve out and say, I'm gonna complete these today. That's my goal. So if that's the case, I might assign today as the due date. And how I would do that is I would click on the first task, and then I'm gonna use the shift key and click on the last task. Now I've highlighted all five tasks. And over here on the right side, it says you've chosen five items. And I'm going to pick the due date as today. And so now I've assigned all these tasks to today. And now I'll go to the today view over on the left side. And now I clearly see the five tasks that I plan to complete today. So these are my pickles in my pickle jar. Task management practice number six is time blocking. So this is another one that TickTick was built for. So TickTick has calendar functionality that we can utilize to do time blocking. But before I show it to you, what is time blocking? Well, time blocking is actually putting your tasks on your calendar and setting them to the duration that you think it's going to take you or the duration that you're allotting yourself to work on that task. Meaning if I have a task, for example, wash the car, and I think it's going to take me about 30 minutes to go wash the car. And I say, I'm going to work on that at 2 p.m. today. I would actually put that task on my calendar from 2 to 2.30 p.m. And then I know that that's the task that I'm going to be working on during that time. All right, so how do we do that in Tick Tick? Well, you come over here to the calendar view. And right now I'm in the month view, but I'm going to change that to the week view. And you can see that I already have some tasks assigned to today. But for the time blocking, what I'm going to do is actually drag these on to my calendar at a specific time. So let's say make YouTube video. I'm going to do that from noon. So I'll put it at noon and then I'll drag the duration of it. Maybe it's going to take me an hour and a half noon to 1:30. make YouTube video. And then after that, I need to update my task list. So I'm gonna drag this task to be after that. And that might just take me 30 minutes. And review and file documentation. I'm actually gonna do that tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna put that for tomorrow. And that's gonna take most of my morning actually. So I'm gonna drag that until noon. And then let's put one more task on here for tomorrow afternoon. All right, so now the tasks are actually on your calendar. 
so you know exactly what you're gonna be working on during that time. So this is a very powerful time management practice. And TickTick -Tick makes it easy to put in practice because you can use the calendar functionality that's built into TickTick -Tick and is literally built for time blocking. Well, that's all for this video. Leave a comment and let me know what you think of this video. And let me know whether or not you use any of these time management practices. And if you do use them, do you use them within TickTick? -Tick? Or maybe you use pen and paper? Or maybe some other app? Let me know. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good one.